Well, up, Sir Daisy. What are those drums say? They say... Boom, de -de boom, de -de boom, boom, boom. Yes, they're at it again. Those crazy carry-on characters are running... Yeah. ...a muck all over Africa. What is it? Why have we stopped? The all that? Elephant. Well, I didn't think it was ours. It's a rioters carry-on up the jungle, where the big game for the great white hunters is hands, knees, and boom a daisy Evelyn! Peter Rogers and Gerald Thomas guarantee the funniest safari that has ever been disorganized. Excuse me. <laughs> In Carry On Up The Jungle. With Frankie Howard as Inigo Tinkle. Sidney James as Bill Boozy. Joan Sims as Lady Evelyn Bagley. I never get tired of listening to the strange noise. <coughs> Must you do that always? You what? Emit air in that disgusting fashion. Better than sneaking it out in other ways, isn't it? <laughs> Kenneth Connor as Claude Chumley. <laughs> Terry Scott as Jungle Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Charles Hawtrey as the Mighty Tonka. Water! Oh, my God, it's the one. Bernard Breslau as Upsidaisy. Daisy. <laughs> Did I get him? No, boss. You aim good, but him in the wrong place. And introducing... Kiss. Jackie Piper as Pretty Miss Jane. Kiss. <coughs> it's eyes down and look in for the noshers. Because, bingo, they're frying tonight. Do they just drop us into boiling water? Oh, no. Nothing as barbaric as that. They just drain all the blood out of us first. That's all we need. Kosher noshers. But it's out of the frying pan into the fire of desire for the man-hungry lubby dubbies. They will do. Untie them. Behold, your mates. I mean, who chose that lot? Carry on up the jungle if you can. And if you can't, then. <laughs> Please. Yes, everyone's at it these days. The birds, the bees, and those hilarious carry-on characters. Why don't you go down front, sir? You'll see better. In the most laughable love-in of a lifetime. I have to vet them, don't I? Oh, vet? Is that the new word for it? I can't fix them up with the right partners until I find out what they do and how they live. Mm -hmm. Like the young widow at the tobacconist. You must have vetted her at least 50 times. <laughs> 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 Oh, good. Company. Oh, I'm fed up with this. I might as well be back home. Peter Rogers and Gerald Thomas invite you to carry on loving. We'll be bloody lucky if we do, mate. Because love, they say, makes the world go round and round and round. <laughs> and breaking all the rules of the mating game are Sidney James as Sidney Bliss, whose approach to women is wet but very effective. Have you wet your trousers? Eh? Oh. Oh, yes. Well, I mean, I went in feet first, didn't I? And my shirt. Then we'd better have it off, hadn't we? Kenneth Williams has Percival Snooper, an expert on the ups and downs of married life. Well, Henry, you heard Mr Snooper's advice. Do you think we should try it? If you want to, Emily, but personally, I don't think a pair of steps is going to be the answer. Charles Hawtrey as James Bensop, a very special investigator. Joan Sims as Esme Crowfoot, she falls for men in a big way, just as they do for Hattie Jakes. No, Sophia, please, come back! Bernard Breslau as Gripper Burke, an all-in wrestler who certainly met his match. <laughs> Terry Scott as Terry Philpott. Jackie Piper as... Sally Martin, unknown star of stage, screen and television, pictured in her home, with everything about her but her clothes. Terry. <gasps> oh, sorry, Jenny. I didn't know you were here. I didn't know you were here. It's all right. I'm going out. As soon as I find my blue sweater, anyway. With talented newcomers Imogen Hassel as Jenny Grubb, Richard O'Callaghan as... Bertram Muffet. Muffet? 
Well, we'll have to find you a crumpet to go with that, won't we? <laughs> Keep them coming. Don't miss Carry On Loving. You might even learn something. You must be joking. She stunk the whole place out with it. Oh, blimey. In it again. Carry on, Henry. A hilarious look back into history at the hits, misses, and mistresses of Henry VIII. Do you, Henry, take this woman to... I do, and so does she. Right, love, that's it. Through that. Not only that, it is said to greatly increase one's sexual appetite. I got news for you. Come the morning, you're going to be starving. Act the part of a loving husband. Impossible. Yes, well, perhaps in the meantime, you could make some other arrangements, sire. What other arrangements? Like taking a mistress? I am the king with a proud family motto to uphold. Non crepito suum genuum. Never spit on your own doorstep. Carry on, Henry. The carry-on courtiers in a right royal romp around merry England. Oh, come on, we're not in the ages to look for needles, are we? Carry On Henry, produced by Peter Rogers and directed by Gerald Thomas, stars Sidney James as King Henry VIII. When he reigns, it usually pours. Kenneth Williams as Cromwell. There is one thing you haven't touched yet. Now we're back to the wife again. Uh, no, a brand new form of taxation I've just thought up. S-E-T. Sex Enjoyment Tax. Terry Scott as Cardinal Woolsey. Oh! Oh, your eminence. Charles Hawtrey as Roger de Lodgerly. He never fails to do his duty. As the king's taster, I have to try everything before he does. Joan Sims as the Queen Marie, who loves to play games on the bed. Ah! I've done it! Uh, now, you have to tittle first. I have tiddled. That was winking. Look, when we began, you told me I had to tiddle into the pot. Kenneth Connor as Lord Hampton of Wick. There you will be required to sign a confession of your wrongdoings. Alas, I cannot help that. I was born with the wrongdoings. Barbara Windsor as Bettina, Lady in Waiting, and the best bet he's seen in years. <gasps> oh, I can hardly believe it. Little me in the King's arms. Well, it's the best boozer in town. <laughs> <laughs> it's not so much historical, it's hysterical, and it's Carry On Henry. Oh, fox. factory somewhere in England, behind closed doors, a group of dedicated gents get to the bottom of a delicate problem. I don't think I can stand it for more than half an hour. It was hardly designed for a reading room. Well, you must look, look, look at this. Very slender, this pedestal, isn't it? Mm. It's streamlined. What for? Wind resistance? <laughs> yes, it's your favourite comedy team going round the bend again in Carry On At Your Convenience. Produced by Peter Rogers, directed by Gerald Thomas. Skinheads! Look, Mr Lewis, the National Union of Chinaware Industrial Employees. Well, you know what you can do with their rule book. I am now calling for an immediate stoppage of work. All those in favour, raise your right hands. Everybody out! Oh, come on, get going! When these workers of the world unite, they have nothing to lose but their dignity. There you are, Mr. Spanner, just in time for your drink. They're coming back! I had a feeling they would today. Why today? It's the annual work outing. We are the champions! <laughs> Me. It was only my camera. I have a cajo. Much better for you. Oh, do you think I ought to? I mean, I've heard that shellfish do very strange things. <laughs> In a sex way, I mean. Really? Oh, let's watch them for a bit then. <laughs> You'll burst with laughter when this crazy gang decide it's one out, all out, to relieve another work stoppage in Carry On At Your Convenience. <laughs> I must warn you, ladies, that this strike is quite legitimate. That's more than they say about you. <laughs> Carrying on at your convenience are all the stars you love to laugh at. Sydney James. That's all I need. 
A face full of soggy niggas. Kenneth Williams, Charles Hawtrey, Joan Sims, Hattie Jakes, Bernard Breslau, Kenneth Cope, Patsy Rowlands, Jackie Piper. Here I am at long last, darling. Richard O'Callaghan. Come on, you lot. Don't hang about. Carry on working. Carry on at your convenience. The biggest basin full of fun since the invention of water. <laughs> For the first time in the history of motion pictures comes a story that ignores all conventions, exposes morals, and does irreparable harm to the medical profession. Carry on Matron. It's dynamite when your favorite laughter makers get together again in their own brand of medical madness. Shh, it's all right, don't scream. What do you want? Well, it's very nice of you, but I haven't got the time. Sidney James, a crook who started at the bottom and stayed there. <laughs> Kenneth Williams. Head of a hospital where it's always wet and windy. You must have a knee. I think he's just had one. Oh, hello. And as usual, covered in confusion, Charles Hawtrey. Joan Sims, as an expected mother who's never heard of a food-free diet. Well, now, you're three weeks overdue, and your husband's getting very impatient. Well, he can talk. Took him seven years to get me pregnant. Hattie Jakes, the matron, who's not quite with it, but can't do without it. Certainly not! It's just that I'm a simple woman with simple tastes, and I want to be wooed. Oh, you can be as wooed as you like with me. Oh, come back, I want you. My God, she's a sex maniac. What a carry-on matron. Bernard Breslau, laboring under a strange misconception. Oh, what's the matter? It just shows you the power of suggestion. What are you talking about? Well, I could have sworn I felt it kicking just then. Kenneth Cope, who took a turn for the nurse, Barbara Windsor, a nurse to raise your hopes and your temperature. Around here, we call in the taxidermist. I'll well, just show you, there's nothing like advertising. Oh, I didn't mean oh, that. Get off! Get away! Oh, get off. Oh. Take your hands off! Take your hands off! Ah! A doctor who wanted everything on the national health. Terry Scott. God, what a woman. <laughs> Kenneth Connor, as the railway porter whose wife is like his trains. <laughs> Always late. Carry on Matron, produced by Peter Rogers, directed by Gerald Thomas. The master craftsman of comedy is guaranteed to give you the laugh of a lifetime if you don't die laughing. Oh, blabber, there's millions of them, I'm Oh, wait. Has she had it then? Could, could, could you get me the Guinness Book of Records? Now, oh, come on, stop messing about. Hey, son. Hey. Is this for the dusty weekend? This is the four-day trip to Ells Bells, if that's what you mean. <laughs> same difference, isn't it? <laughs> that's right. It's the same hilarious carry-on team, the same hilarious faces, and a few new ones, like Jimmy Logan. All ready for a wild weekend, eh? And June Whitfield. Yes, they're all carrying on where they can really carry on. They're putting soap on that bit. Abroad. Wonder Tour has especially chose Els Bells for the perfect holiday weekend because of its wonderful sunshine record. And something you can't muck up. Who else but the carry-on crowd could pack so many gags and so many bags into one trip abroad? It's easy, no? <laughs> Thank you. Join Sid James, Kenneth Williams, Charles Hawtrey, Joan Sims, Bernard Breslau, Barbara Windsor, Kenneth Connor, Peter Butterworth, Jimmy Logan, June Whitfield, and Hattie Jakes on a Cook's tour of surefire laughs. They're all off on a wonder tour. It's a wonder any of them make it. Eleven times in one night. <laughs> They're all staying at a crack hotel. And the cracks are fast and furious. Let him go! I'll shove off! Go rescue somebody else! What a shower they are! Oh, hello! What a shambles they create! Ah! No wonder the island's called Els Bells. Ah! It's all brand new. Tables not sat in. Chairs not setting. Lavatory's not, uh... Uh, hello. The room is There is a man in my room. 
Martha. Down in there. Stalkers. And when I pressed the thing and tried to plug it in, sand shot out of it. Why bother to go abroad when you can get it all watching them do it? Yes, I can honestly say I've never had one quite like it. <laughs> <laughs> Could I have another one, please?